Things are starting to really look impressive on the 46 M3 underside restoration. We're starting to see some of the new fixings being installed, those um, zinc slash yellow uh, coated bolts, which are um, coming out of the subframe or the RACP, should I say there and there, along with the brake pipe fixings. We looked at those earlier, rear trailing arm bolts. Obviously we still need to put those in. They're just giving you a, a representation of where they go and sort of the contrast they make. You can see the fuel tanks come up like brand new. The tops of the fuel tank, including all the uh, fuel vapor pipes have been extremely thoroughly cleaned and separated. And so is the underside of the fuel tank, along with having the tank straps installed. Those are powder coated, even though they are stainless steel, we've powder coated those um, to give the sort of impression of a sort of a stainless slash gray, nice contrasting color against the black tank itself. Um, so they've got extra protection on them. And obviously the bolts and the rubbers and the sleeves have been installed that are going into the Redish Motorsport fuel tank brackets. Um, and then we can see um, going down a bit further, nothing much more at the moment on the underside section. We are just preparing the axle assembly actually at the moment. So shock absorbers are in place. Axle itself is over here, which is on our jig, which is just being uh, built up at the moment. We're just getting ready to put the differential in shortly. So we've got the subframe itself, which is obviously a powder coated item. Um, which has also got a protective wax layer on top of that now before it goes back into the car because the top section you never can get to. So that's why it's, um, it's a little bit, it might look a little bit dull. And if we were to touch it, it would be a tiny little bit tacky because it's got a, a wet, uh, sorry, a wax protection on there. Genuine BMW subframe bushes and also the diff bush down here as well. Um, new BMW handbrake cables. Then the upper arms are powder coated, the original ones in a, again, a, a silver slash aluminium sort of color to represent that material. And then trailing arms have been powder coated as well. So we've got the OEM black finish along with the rear trailing arm um, cradles, new front bushes, genuine BMW, along with the lower uh, ball joints just down at the underside and also the upper ones just up here as well. And then we've got the fixings, the OEM clipping points, which are all the plastics. We've cleaned the cabling systems up and also the ABS sensors. And then we've got the backing plates fitted on along with the handbrake console area there, where that's where the cable comes out, zinced along with the bolts, zinc bolts. Even though you're not gonna see these, it's just nice to know they're extra protected with that yellow layer of zinc along with the um, drive shaft flanges as well. Really impressed with those as obviously they've got genuine BMW's um, wheel bearings inside those as well. And it's pretty much the same affair on the other side as well. So it's all looking fresh and new. When we look down from this angle, you can see you've got the brackets here for the brake flexi pipe, the lower camber bolts and um, uh, eccentric system is also all new as are the lower bushes, low, sorry, the lower arms, even the special little lock tabs in there and the nuts and the bolts coming through from this side are all zinced and fresh and protected. So that's the axle being prepared. We're just gonna be putting the differential in soon and then that, diff, that, that whole axle assembly can go back up on our jig, hydraulic jig system, which raises it up nice and gently. So, um, so it's very straightforward to install. We build them on a frame and that's how we take them out of the car as well. And then going down to the uh, ground, just to show some layout of some new items that are going on next. We've just had the order of new plastics come in and arrive from BMW. I forget how many individual pieces there are in there. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we're just missing one. The, the only one that had to come from Germany, which isn't in this picture, is the one for the carbon canister section, which is the long one at the back. So there will be a good 12 pieces of plastic, which are all new and fresh. Um, it does add up to quite a considerable amount, even just plastics, but it makes a massive difference because plastics do get from factory they get waxed on the left hand side of the underside of the vehicle so you always find the left hand ones especially on the gearbox one and the fuel filter one and also the fuel tank one on the left they're always got this heavy nasty wax which is extremely hard to break down even with chemicals without affecting the plastic 
plus they have a huge amount of stone rash on them. If you think they've been going around for say 15 to 20 years on the road and they've got an amount of stone chips and rash which makes the plastic rather than being smooth it gives it sudden imperfections which are shown unfortunately in like a, a gray color for some reason so you can always see when an old plastic has been used and sometimes they clean up fine and people want to use the old ones but in this case the owner wanted all new plastic so there they all laid out they're going to be installing those very shortly just to if you weren't aware of what they are that's the front engine under tray that's the two lower front wheel arch liners. That's the main front wheel arch liners. Then we've got the gearbox under tray, the fuel filter under tray, the left and right fuel tank under trays, specific for the M3 because they've got the cutout there for the V-brace. And then we've got a left and a right rear wheel arch liner. And like I say, the only one that's missing is the um, carbon canister fuel bracket one. A um, few other pieces to go on. Once the axle's in, then we've got the push rod, which is again powder coated along with a new um, heat shield there. We've got the premium gold brake calipers which have been overhauled including the carriers and have got um, new pads and new pistons and seals for the fluid and the dust. Anti-roll bar has been powder coated so it's got new drop links on the ends, new rubbers and new brackets which have also been powder coated. Then we've got the exhaust brackets or plates for the lower section. One is just a reinforcement plate and one is the actual middle rubbers for the exhaust center section. Those have been renewed for new, as has the front uh, subframe being powder coated. So that's looking really fresh and original. So gonna have a little look a bit closer. Along with the engine mounts and even buying the silly, well I say silly, but they're not, but the, the what most people think insignificant things, the heat shield for the right hand side one where it's near the exhaust manifold heat. The old one was dented and dirty, so a new one whilst they're still available to buy from BMW. Steering rack is original, being cleaned up. The tie rods are brand new, and you can see the bolts have been placed in to show you where they go, and also they're gonna be a nice contrast to the black. And also, the front Xenon headlight level system, there's a new potentiometer in there, and also the bracket, and even the bolts, the small M5 bolts, they've been zinced as well. And then going over to the last few things, we've got genuine BMW lower front control arms and also bushes and brackets, or the rear lollipops, if you will. And then lastly, I think we've looked at this before, but the powder coated under tray, which again is done powder coat, but it's done in a special color, which we think mimics aluminum quite well. So we're really looking forward to carrying on with the rebuild and, um, and getting a lot of these components on. Once that rear axle's in, we'll be seeing a a remarkable difference.